Can I go to the sleepover? I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Now, you know how much I, I love Scott County. Uh, you know, this is some of the greatest memories of my life and being in this gym and, and I remember, you know, playing for Coach Hicks and Coach Sarge and, you know, just the run that we had. You look on the wall down there and it's, uh, you know, it's a special place. I mean, I walked in here, I said, God, this, this place used to be, feel so big, you know, <laughs> but uh, this is the best school in the country. You know, it's an honor to be back. You know, I really enjoy this. I, I really enjoy pouring into our community and, you know, we do this in Richmond, uh, you know, we do tons of pep rallies and, you know, just interactive stuff with our community. And, um, you know, I, I've got a message I want to share, you know, and when I talk about my battle with cancer, and, you know, I didn't have a physical, you know, my last physical was in 2005. I went 15 years without a physical. I mean, you know, and so I want to continue to, to share that message because I don't want anybody to have to have a two year battle with cancer like I did um, when it was unnecessary. You know, I, I should have had a physical every year. And that's when the gym got quiet, when I started talking about my battle with cancer. And, you know, and I mean that, Cal, when I, when I was going through it um, for the first week or two, I, all I could think about was poor me until I had that conversation with my mom. And, and she told me that God's got a bigger plan for me. And I, I, had, to, I had to really dig in and, and realize that it was bigger than me, that I needed to push a, push a message out and, and understand that this adversity that I was going through, no matter what, I was going to beat cancer. And if I didn't, if I, if cancer would have killed me, you know, I was going to get that message out and people were going to get a physical because A.W. Hamilton. And I really believe that the adversity and the struggle we go through um, is for a reason. And we got to get to the other side of it because then we find a better version of ourselves. And, you know, I'm a better person because I had a battle cancer. Look, we, we, had a, we had a tough year last year. We dealt with so much adversity with injuries. And, you know, we got down to the point where we had seven, eight scholarship guys in conference games and it was tough. Um, but I love how we responded. I love the leadership of our team, and I, li I, li I like the, the makeup of our group. I, we got a chance to have a really good basketball team, and you know, Michael Marino, Cooper Robb, you know, everybody in Scott County, you come out and support those kids. I mean, I've got, I got Michael for two more years. I got Cooper for one more. I'm gonna cry like a baby when, I, when they graduate. That's gonna hurt me more than anything. <laughs>